Okay, guys, thanks for joining us. We're here with, for our Tuesday media availability with Coach Wilcox. As always, if you could let me know in the chat if you do have a question for Coach, and I'll call upon you, and, and we'll get started. Kyle, um, have you allowed us to record? Uh, yeah, sorry, Jeff. Let me do that. You guys should now be able to record. Jeff, we'll go ahead and start with you, but anything beyond the first question, if you guys could let me know in the chat. And uh, and then we'll call upon you. Go ahead, Jeff. Justin, um, game week, and uh, just tell us about your your thoughts about your offense at this point. Um, a lot of change there, but there seems to be a lot of optimism. Um, do you think this is a, an offense that will finally be able to provide you guys more than you've maybe gotten the last several years? Well, we think, uh, like you, we're excited about the group. Uh, very optimistic about the new faces that are going to be playing. Um, there is, there's not a ton of returning experience, you know, a couple guys on the line, Ben Coleman and, and Sindo have played quite a bit, um, but a lot of new faces elsewhere. And uh, I think those guys are all excited to go out and make their mark. And uh, there's some talented guys. And now we just, you know, creating that chemistry on the field is going to be very important. And we work at that all off season, you know, from winter to spring football, summer workouts, they throw on their own, um, you know, creating chemistry at offensive line uh, and then fall camp. But ultimately the test will be on Saturdays. And I think these guys are very eager uh, to go out there and, and get started. And uh, we have high hopes for them. I know you're all in this together, but um, do, do you sort of feel like the offense needs to pull a little bit more of its share of the weight 22 points a game the last several years in, in modern football, that doesn't seem like it's enough to keep pressure off your defense. Yeah. I mean, we, you know, it, it ultimately it's a team game and all of us got to, you know, every coach and player and unit <clears throat> needs to show improvement. We haven't done enough uh, to, to get to where we want to go to. And, you know, defensively, I could point to areas where we got to be much better special teams and offense as well. And so, we do. Uh, yeah, we know we got to score more points. And uh, that's a result of, you know, each play, getting the most out of that play and going to the next play and doing it again and again and again with consistency. And uh, I've got a lot of confidence in our coaches that are preparing them and, and the players that are going to be on the field. And ultimately, we got to go out and perform on Saturdays. And that goes for the offense. That goes for the defense, the special teams and us as coaches. If I can ask you a follow up. Um... Jack Plummer just got here in the spring, replacing a guy who'd been your quarterback for three and a half years. Um, how has Jack done in terms of becoming the leader that you want your quarterback to be to become? Uh, I think he's done done an awesome job. I mean, he uh, since he's been here uh, has earned the respect of not only his teammates but people in the program. He's a serious guy, he's serious about football. <clears throat> he's got strong leadership skills uh he will speak up and when he does the guys listen to him he's very competitive and uh he's got a, a mind for football and i think that's become evident as we've spent more time with him um you know since he's been here in january the his ability to pick up the offense to talk football to communicate with uh his teammates and the coaches about football has been impressive and uh i think he's just excited to play i mean he is uh put a lot of time into this and uh, he's a talented guy can really throw the football and I think he's looking forward to to Saturday and playing with his teammates. Thank you. Okay, Jake, did you have any questions for coach or anybody else? Uh, do let me know in the chat. Here we go. It's coming up. Uh, Jake, did you have anything or no? Uh, not right now. Okay, we'll go back to Tom, or Jeff, rather. Sorry, go ahead, Jeff. Yeah, Justin, um, the opening week of the of the season, Pac-12 has a couple of pretty high-profile games, and I know you're concerned pretty much only with your own team, but from afar, when you look at Oregon playing Georgia at Atlanta and then Utah going into Florida, um, how big are those games for your conference to, to be able to show well there? Um, yeah, Jeff, I... I don't really think much about the other teams yeah. until we're playing them, to be honest. And uh, do I want good things for our conference? Certainly. So, yeah, I would be, uh, I guess, in that, in that respect, you know, wishing them well. But uh, I can't say that I give 
that any more thought than the few seconds you and I just spoke about it. And, and so you're going to be busy with your own team, obviously, on Saturday. But, you know, when you get up and read the Sunday paper or go online and check the scores, will the, are those going to mean a little bit more to the Pac-12 than, you know, than Washington State against Idaho? Um, I guess for some, yeah, for the, for the uh, narrative, for the conference, absolutely. Um, but again, it's probably, it's not going to change what I do the rest of the day. It's not going to change what our team does the rest of the day. We're going to, you know, we're going to go out and put our, our best foot forward this weekend and then uh, turn around Sunday and start preparing for next week. But, uh, and I know that's probably not the answer that you want, um, or maybe as thoughtful of an answer as that you, that you want, but um, yeah, I want good things for the conference, but more importantly, uh, I want to do everything in my power. We want to do everything in our power to do what's best for our team. That's kind of the end of the story. And are there any other injury situations besides obviously Brett that we should know about heading into uh, Saturday? And is everyone pretty much ready to go? Yeah, I mean, there's a couple guys that'll be up to the, you know, kind of going up to the game, uh, but we expect everybody back uh, right now, Jeff. Um, the only other, yeah, I mean, that, that's that's it really right now. Calhoun and Starling. Uh, Calhoun, yep. Uh, we're optimistic he'll be back uh, as soon as maybe uh, today. And Starling, we'll see. You know, it, it might be a little bit later in the week, but... Yeah, we're, we're hopeful both of those guys will join us for the game Saturday. Anybody else with any final questions for Coach? Okay, we'll reconvene here at 1230 for Coach Sermon, and uh, Coach Wilcox had the one more for you. Okay, thank you. Okay, thanks, guys. See you at 1230.